Hello, my name is Esco Buff. I'm a farrier from New York. I'd like to discuss the properties of copper alloy horseshoes and how they work. First of all, copper alloy horseshoes have three types of reactions that occur uh, to the foot. The first is touch. So anything that touches the copper alloy shoe will kill bacteria on contact, 99.9% .9 of the most serious pathogens out there. The second way is combining steel nails into the, uh, into the horseshoe nails, and that creates a galvanic reaction that produces copper salts, which leach down into the foot. The third way is the natural environment and urine and acid water that touches the copper also leaches the copper down onto the foot. So these three benefits actually help if you have animals that have any seedy toe issues or seedy white line issues, anicomycosis or white line disease issues, thrush, as well as canker issues. The shoes can uh, be worked rather easily and you can braze in copper and copper alloy frog plates in order to have the benefit of contact with the frog to take advantage of that. Now copper in itself is not a very good material to make horseshoes out of to apply to a horse's foot because it's soft and will wear out rather quickly. So copper is easily alloyed with other metals in order to produce a copper alloy so it makes it harder and stronger and allows you to take advantage of all the benefits of the copper but does allow it to be able to be um, applied to a horse's foot and reset several times. The wearability we find is someplace between aluminum and steel, so you, they'll be able to be reset several times without any problems. Now the weight of copper alloy shoes is just slightly more than a steel shoe, any place between two and four ounces more. A lot of people think they're lighter, someplace between aluminum and steel, but they're actually the, just a little bit heavier than steel of the same size and width of web. A couple questions that arise from the use of copper alloy shoes is not all copper alloy or copper is created equal. The K-Wall copper alloy horseshoes are EPA approved in class 3, which means they're guaranteed to have around 80% copper in them. There's uh, several other copper alloy shoes and nails out there that don't have the EPA approval of copper content, therefore cannot make uh, statements of killing bacteria. Another question arises is, can they be glued on? I have glued on some of them. You lessen the contact ability of the copper alloy to work, but you do get leaching that occurs from a nail if you put it in, as well as the environment leaching from the top, the copper over the shoes and onto the foot. Just not nearly as effective. So I would recommend nailing these shoes on, uh, preferably.